Welcome back to Curious Kids. Today we're going to build a rocket. As you can see, I have this box over here. So we're going to carefully unfold it. And this is going to be the base of the rocket. Now we're going to take a plate to measure the window. Okay, if you, the grown-ups in your house drink this kind of coffee where they have these little capsule thingies, then you can empty out the coffee and stick them on. Or, and if not, you can always use um, tops and things from milk and juice. I'm going to wash these tops to put in my rock. I almost forgot to put the coffee in the compost. me and my family and we're also making nice little decorations to put when it's all done. So this is how we do it. We take the tin foil and wrap the part where we want it. Then we take tape and stick it on. from a grown-up. So me and my grown-up, we put the hot glue here with all of those and now we're sticking them on here like this. testing it to see what it, it could do. You can see that I wrote the directions. Well, it didn't write. I just drew arrows. And so it says here, Mission Mars, Captain Elena. And then we tried to be very decorative. And so we made banners and we stick them on the rocket. Oh, like this. And then there's two buttons around it and stuff. And here, there's a little solar panel, and feel, it feels cute, um, far from the sun, and over here is my little lab, so I can, you know, do my research on my rocks that I collect from the moon or Mars. 566 people have ever traveled to space, only Six, 65 were women. The first woman who flew into space was in 1963. It took almost 20 years for another woman to fly again. In March 
2019, the first all-woman spacewalk was canceled because NASA didn't have the spacesuits in their size. Only seven months later, all the all women's the first all women spacewalk happened. And don't forget all the women who worked and still work to make space travel possible. Margaret Hamilton, a computer scientist, saved the moon landing in the nineteen sixty nine mission. Without her, Neil Armstrong would never set his foot on the moon. Katherine Johnson, a mathematician, calculated the trajectory for the 1969 flight to the moon. Without women, still today, the rovers on Mars wouldn't be there. But guess what? It's actually cheaper for women to go into space. They need less food, less fuel. It's actually not that fair, right? If you want to learn more about space, science, and learn about how to make crafts, then come in and tune in for the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!